everybody. Um, Gun Geek here. Just like to give you some quick advice uh, from my experience on tips on how to get your bore clean. Um, first of all, I'd like to say I've had this rifle for about yeah two years, and um, it originally was not an extremely accurate rifle for me. It uh, at 50 yards, I was group of maybe three inches. Not all that spectacular. Okay. Uh, it's just not. However, after cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and learning about how to better clean it <laughs> and figuring out what works and what helps, I've been able to get the bore really nice and clean. Um, just after, you know, maybe a few patches after every time I took it out shooting. And I've seen the accuracy steadily increase as well as the bore looks so much better when you're looking down it. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick vid on tips to help you out. First of all, when I purchased this rifle, it didn't look anything different from most of the rifles you see out there. Um, when you're looking through surplus, you know, it, well shot. You know, I had plenty of rounds through it. Bore was dirtier than heck, you know, but the rifling looked pretty good still. And in fact, the crown on this gun is, is pretty reasonable yet. So... You know, I took it back, got the Cosmoline off of it after buying it, cleaned the bore, maybe ran 10 patches, maybe 15 patches max down it. Things still came out dirty, but the bore looked a little better, so I went, hey, okay, go with it. So after shooting it, like I said, it was probably, you know, getting 3-inch groups at 50 yards. Um, and I kept cleaning it and cleaning it and cleaning it and cleaning it. Sometimes I would clean it, you know, run maybe 10 patches down it with standard hops number 9, or hoppies number 9, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And then take a break, let it sit for a while with the hoppies just in the bore, and not too long because you want to be careful because some solvents can do some damage to your bore. Um, so just to err on the side of caution, I didn't leave it on for that long, but I'd let it sit for a few minutes, come back, and I'd scrub some more. But one thing you got to keep in mind, and this is something I really hadn't considered um, when I initially bought it, is copper fouling. Now, regular hops number nine claims to remove copper deposits, but it really isn't designed for just copper removal. Okay, it's it's not designed for guns that have been shot extremely heavily and not been cleaned for copper at all. It's designed as you know, something to remove minor copper deposits as you use the rifle to keep it well maintained. Um, so it's it's kind of like you're taking one step forward and cleaning with the hops number nine, but then you shoot it and you take one step back. You know, it, it's just you're not get, gaining any ground. So what I actually tried is uh, using bench rest number nine which is specifically a copper remover okay and it also works as a general purpose cleaner too so I figured okay I'll give this a shot after trying it I can tell you it makes a world of difference copper is pretty clear to see in the bore okay it looks like regular fouling to the naked eye I suppose you could say it tends to streak um, so if you have like these wild streaks down the bore when you're looking down it, you can you can see all those weird markings. That's probably copper. You know, if you've cleaned it a bunch and it's still there, it's copper. Um, and and that decreases your accuracy substantially. So like I said, I cleaned it with this, scrubbed it, scrubbed it, scrubbed it, and uh, after that, I've just been cleaning it with a couple patches after every range trip, and the accuracy has probably. 100% improved by 100%. I'm probably getting inch and a half groups at 50 yards now. And it's still getting better. So I'm not convinced that I'm to the max accuracy yet. Uh, but it's it's just a world of difference. You look down the bore, it looks clean. It looks like it should. And that's a problem with these rifles. Sometimes no matter how much you clean them, they just don't look clean. This looks clean. So... Just a tip out there to to look out for, you know, if, if your gun's been heavily used, 
is probably copper fouling that you can't get out of the bore. So try some of this stuff and see if you notice a difference like I did. No guarantees, but you know, it, it, copper fouling is something that builds up with, with a high round count. And that is quite the issue with these guns. So just keep that in mind and, and maybe uh, try into You don't necessarily have to buy the hops or hoppies version, um, but uh, some kind of copper remover. So, all right, thank you for watching. I hope it helps, and uh, have fun shooting. Thank <laughs> you.